Hello everyone, Dr. Urban here, and I want to do a book review on something that I found exciting. It is Dr. Gerald Pollock's The Fourth Phase of Water. Now, you might think that someone has done some twistings and turnings to create a fourth phase of water. It's just the opposite. We're going to talk, be talking about easy water, exclusion zone water, and what is it? And I want to make three points. The first point is who should read it, that kind of stuff. Second is why did I read it? And then I want to give you one takeaway, maybe a little too simplistic for the topic, but to get you started and keep you thinking about easy water. So, Dr. Pollard, Pollock is a PhD, uh, happens to be at the University of Washington, and he is a water scientist. And he has studied water, water all his uh, life, as far as I can tell. And uh, he has come up with uh, this idea, really a discovery, clarification of a fourth phase of water. And it's absolutely um, true as he makes his case. Now, who should read this book? This book is for anyone interested in new stuff that relates to common stuff. For example, when you look up in the sky and you see a cloud, we know that the water in the cloud is denser than the gas around the cloud. So why doesn't the cloud fall down? You get the idea. Well, he has about 15, 16, 17 of these um, hard to explain phenomena based on our standard view of water, that being solid, liquid, and gas. For the fourth phase is a structured phase, and it seems to particularly apply to biological systems. Now, who should read this book? Again, people, uh, there would be a great read for, let's say, adolescents who like scientific uh, discoveries. The, the chapters are conveniently centered around easy to read phenomenon and then you go on to another phenomenon. So you could read a phenomenon a day, it'd be a nice read. Uh, you get uh, the picture, I think. So uh, that's where I think you may want to go. Now why did I read it, which may also relate to why you may want to read it. I'm into prolonging life, health, that sort of thing, and I like the phenomenon of of humming, of tapping, of vibrational sounds, music, uh, medicine, telomere extension, and I'm looking for something that kind of unites this. And I think we're going to find it deeper in the cell. Now, exclusion zone or easy water has to do with charged water that forms around hydrophilic or water-loving surfaces think proteins and cell membranes and that sort of thing. Now where is it? It's everywhere. Not only is it in biological systems, it's in the atmosphere, it's in the vesicles, it's in dry paper. Dry paper has exclusion zone water. It's very hard to get out uh, because it excludes um, massively and strongly. So how do we turn this to our advantage? Well, there will be people that tell you you should increase your or protect your easy zone that is the negatively charged zone of water that is uh, adjacent to hydrophilic surfaces all those hydrophil all our hydrophilic surfaces and that would be going in the right direction but don't rush out and buy a lot of easy water. You can buy it uh, commercially because I, you have to get it from here to there. And so sh is it better to try to put it into your system and get past the stomach? Or do you need to build it up from the inside? Uh, so far, I haven't been able to answer that, but I'm on the pursuit uh, of that. Uh, and Dr. Pollock has some YouTube videos that may help you. So... The book is a great book. It's structured for, uh, for the lay public. He makes his case to the public. The scientists uh, are welcome to come along. It's easy to follow. And he answers a lot of questions. He answers or gives uh, a reason for a lot of common phenomena. 
And uh, it's a great book. In fact, I'm going through it again just to t take away the high points. So get the book, take a look. You will understand water in ways <laughs> you think it's odd, but it's everywhere. This is everywhere, folks, and uh, it affects our health, and we're go you're going to see more of it about structured water, uh, easy water. So remember that easy it stands for exclusion no zone water, not E-A-S-Y water. So the one takeaway, clearly, uh, after looking at uh, the book and uh, several YouTube videos, you need to be hydrated. This system of charged water, structured water, latticed water, however you want to say it, does not work well when you're dehydrated. So starting out, the tip of the uh, pyramid, the top of the pyramid, is you must be hydrated. So starting there with easy water and keep it in mind it's uh, I'm going to be as I find them I, uh, subjects I'm going to bring them to you uh, in the form of YouTube videos so you may want to subscribe to the channel if the subject interests you but the topic relates to you you're full of easy zone water and you want as much as you can get just keep that in mind